Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a rare plant haul. I know I've done one recently, but honestly, there is some weird and fantastical things coming into this shop because I'm gearing up for the next season. So I've got some cool stuff. I'm not gonna go through them in any particular order. I'm just gonna get straight into it, cause why not? We've got a really mixed bag today. I'm looking at one alocasia, one xanthosoma, two anthurium and two, technically three, philodendron. I might start with this one first, because right here. If you saw my studio plant tour a couple of weeks ago, I believe now, if I've got this right, because I'm recording this in advance, you may notice that in that video, I shared with you a bit of a unicorn for me and that was the philodendron linamii. Now it's upstairs, I forgot to grab it, but I have two here so I'm going to show you these two instead just in case you missed that because it's such a prominent plant I don't want anyone to miss out on it really because it's not every day that you see these. So I have a couple here, um, let's grab this one. I have two, actually I'll, I'll grab both and I'll put one back. I have this bad boy here on the left and I have uh, this bad boy here on the right. Philodendron linamii is quite rare. You can't really get them. I know I don't like saying that, but you kind of can't really get them. I'm not exaggerating. The cool thing about this plant, you're either, and I said this in my studio tour, you're either gonna care or not care. The main thing that I want you to really even know on this plant to decide if you like it or not is obviously beautiful heart-shaped leaves. These are really leathery. They're not like Plamanii or anything like that. Obviously Gloriosum is very velvety. People say it's velvety anyway. This is not like that. A couple of people are confused between this and Nangaritensi. Um, they might look a bit similar but they are quite different and there's a bit of a price difference as well. This is well into four digits, like well into four digits. Nangaratensi will be late two digits, more than likely early three digits, I think, um, depending on where you're getting them from. The cool thing I want you to know about this plant, if you want to decide whether you like it and it's something you might want to have, is basically, notice here this beautiful, I'll try and hold it up, hopefully the camera will play a ball, this beautiful cherry red Cadafil. This is borderline exactly the same as a choco red. I would grab a choco red, but I feel like the second I do, I'm going to pull them all out because they're down here in a big lump and they're going to get tangled up. But if you have a choco red or you know of them, then you'll know that they have these this beautiful hot pink cadafil. Now the cool thing about these is the leaf that emerges from this cadafil, and hopefully you might be able to see it. If it, you know, if it just ignores my face, then that would be great. There. There is actually a leaf coming out of that. The leaf will come out hot pink and eventually the leaf will fade down to green. So that is the cool thing about this plant specifically. I'm sure there's a lot of other cool things about it, but for the purpose of this haul, that's what I want to highlight to you. Really, really beautiful plant. It's been on my wish list for so long, honestly. If for some reason you think you may have one, um, I don't have an Angaratensi to hand right now. I know that I have one somewhere up there and I literally have the one, but the really big difference on that from memory is the back, uh, the, the petiole insertion here. So the very back where the petiole meets the leaf. Angaratensi is, is weird. It almost looks like a, honestly, forgive the, um, the comparison, but it looks like a cigarette, like it looks like cigarette ash almost sometimes. It's really bobbly and kind of weird. Um, they don't have this. They are they're actually round, I think. Completely round, yeah. When these leaves fade from pink to green, you are left with this really cute kind of collar around the petiole insertion here. You get this really cute dark red lip around it, which is quite nice. Again, it is it is a super rare plant, but I don't want to be accused of overhyping it because what I'm essentially saying is you're either going to care or not care. This is either for you or it's not for you, okay? If you want to look at it from a really superficial, what it looks like point of view, the cool thing is the hot pink caterpillar. The leaf comes out pink, as pink as probably the back of a chocolate red, like very, very pink, don't get me wrong, but it will fade to green. It won't stay there. So if you're thinking that they're going to come out and stay pink, no, they don't. I just want to get that out there um, because these things cost a lot of money and I don't want someone to potentially try and get one and get really disappointed or anything like that. So just so you know, as like a broad overview, that's kind of how it works. Mine is still upstairs, nothing bad's happened to it. It's just, I forgot to take it down and I'm here by myself at the minute and I can't really get a big pot down the ladders. I wouldn't want to drop it. That would be, that would be horrendous, actually. Um, let's go with an alocasia. 
This one, I think I saw a few of these when I was in Thailand, like, was it last year? No, it was a year before that. It was last year, wasn't it? At the beginning of last year. I can't even remember anymore. COVID's really taking its toll, trust me. But I saw this, huge versions of this in Thailand last year. We're going with last year and fell in love with it. And I know I have bashed, uh, I mean, really bashed variegated alocasia on my channel because they don't seem to be stable. I'm still attempting to find one that is stable. So take what I'm going to say as red. I don't know how, you know, how well this is going to stay variegated. If you don't know, by the way, I've previously said in previous videos that I think all variegated alocasia are very unstable and they can just revert very quickly. But this here is alocasia odora Okinawa silver, I believe that is what it is. I can't pronounce it because you know I murder my plant names. And it's got a good display of variegation on it. If I tip it to the camera there, it looks beautiful. I've got to give it to it. It looks beautiful. I don't know if this is going to stay. It might revert. I really don't know. I've got a couple of these in now and they, they look all like this. They look very, very good. A lot of variegation. And the variegation does seem to evenly distribute itself across the petioles of the plant. So these look like more stable ones than I've had in before, but we will have to see. I think this is quite a popular plant. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many alocasia lovers are out there. Alocasia are typically more difficult than, say, Monstera or Philodendron, in my opinion, because obviously it's different for everyone. It's different for people according to your conditions and how you like to water and care for things. Some plants are easier for some people, some plants are harder for some people. I believe these are quite, I don't say sought after because I don't know if they are, but they're, they're considered a good one, I think, in terms of variegated alocasia. There was a bit of a craze for these on the internet, I think when I started my channel, and I think even I saw a few that I liked, and they were quite large. So for that reason, I am keeping one, because I think a long time ago on a wish list, I probably said I wanted a variegated Sabrina, which I have, and generally a variegated alocasia. So I'm keeping this, fingers crossed, if it reverts, you will be the first to know. I will try and remain neutral on it, but I, I can see it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'll show it up to the camera so you can really see. Look at that. Seriously, I have to cover my face because my camera is set to focus on my face. Look at that. Oh my God, that's really pretty. So love that. Alocasia, Odora, Okinawa, Silver. I don't know why they call it Silver, it's white variegation, but there you go. So I'll pop that down. Really cute one. I just, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if it's going to revert. I have a few more. I don't know if I have between five and 10 in here. I can't remember. They're over there somewhere. And I'm kind of sealed into this little section in my shop that I'm at. If you don't know, I'm in my shop, by the way, if that wasn't painfully obvious. I'm going to pick up another one. I'll pick up a similar one. I think this is stable. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I'm, I'm not an expert on Xanthosoma at all by any stretch. I think this is stable. I think you just call this Xanthosoma Mickey Mouse. It may have another name. I'm not aware of it as of recording this now. But it's so cute. So it's xanthosoma, not alocasia, although it looks like an alocasia. The growth pattern is very much the same. So you have alocasia, xanthosoma, colocasia. It's all the same kind of growth pattern. So you could say that the growth pattern is kind of the same on all three. If you like alocasia, you'll probably like colocasia if you're wanting to like branch out into a different plant. And you'll probably like xanthosoma as well. So have a little look at those. Caladium as well can be quite similar if you, if you like the way you know, if you like that kind of growth pattern, then you should really look at those other plants because you might find something you really like. Um, but yeah, so Xanthosoma Mickey Mouse, it obviously gets the name because it has little ears. It reminds me so much of an alocasia stingray. It's ridiculous. If I try and tip this because I have um, like a little bit of moss and there's some rogue perlite on it. If you see some weirdness, that's basically what it is. If I tip that down there, it's the best I can do for now, I'm afraid. It has a little tail on it, like an alocasia stingray, and it's adorable, it's really adorable. I don't have much luck with Xanthosoma generally in here. It is a battle, believe me, but I wanna see how they do, because these ones have survived so far, and Xanthosoma, alocasia, anything of the sort, when you ship them, I don't know if you know this, a lot of the time they can die back to the comb. They're still alive, you just wait for them to sprout back. But a lot of the time they can lose all their leaves. And to be fair, I think this probably had another leaf. I've got a few over there that are now one leafers. Um, this one's clearly come out with me because it's just so immaculate. I haven't had these in insanely long, these ones. These are a little bit newer. They've got a little bit to go before they're sellable, I think. But 
I really like it and I think I'm going to try and grow it upstairs. I've got a bit of an issue with upstairs because there's so many things I want to grow in there. And honestly, I do not have the room. I really don't have the room because I like to keep it quite minimal. But we'll see what I end up putting up there. Right, the next plant I have to show you is an anthurium and I don't know what it is. I bought it as a no ID, dark, browny, leathery anthurium. Is it glossy? Not really, not really. So I can't tell you what it is. I paid quite a bit for it actually. I might have paid a little bit too much for it. I paid mid troubles for it. I don't know what it is. I just really wanted some dark leaves and there was nothing available at the time. I'm gonna hold it up and if you think you know what it is, please write below because I don't know. I need someone to ID it, I really don't know. I've had this a while, I got this in, it, I think it was early December when I got in, so I've had it a long time and I meant to haul it, but it was sat on a really high shelf and I, I didn't get to it basically. But anyway, yeah, I can't tell you what it is. It's really leathery, I can show you that much. I mean, it looks beautiful on camera. It's very dark in color. If I just grab something green real quick, if I just grab one of these light nami eye again, you'll be able to see how dark it is. Um, and that's why I bought it because it was so dark. I literally have one of these. This was like a random plant. <laughs> I don't have any more of these. Um, so yeah, super dark. Veins can be quite pinky actually. Are they pink on the back? No, but they appear to be quite pinky on the front. Let me just show you that the best I can. I'll, again, I'll cover my head. They look like this on the front. So that's one leaf there. The other leaf is a bit of a different shape, which is interesting. That's the second leaf. And obviously I will need to show you the back of the petiole to help you ID it if anyone is really into their anthurium and they think they know what it is. Obviously it's a hybrid of something, surely. Um, that is the back of the petiole. I'm sorry, I can't give you much more than that. Oh, a little rotation there. That's the best I can do. Maybe that one as well. So you can see. There is some red um, carrying up the petiole, but it's, it's stronger on that one than that one. And that's, that is the new leaf, this one, this pointy one here. Um, it hasn't grown since I've got it. Funny enough, it's rooted. It hasn't grown any new foliage, but it looks like it will soon. So yeah, I'm gonna put my hand over that while I turn it. I don't know what it is. If you think you know, feel free to have a good guess. I'm pretty sure it's a hybrid of something though. Um, really nice plant. I think yeah, I might put it on the wall. I wanted to put it in here so it rooted. Um, take no notice of the may die. That's off a really old pot. It might not die. And it certainly hasn't been here that long either. This says the 7th of the 8th last year. So no, this pot has been reused, but I think it's a hybrid. Growing it in here may put it on the wall. Don't know. If you know what it is, let me know. I'm not going to linger on it because I cannot tell you anything about this plant, but it is very pretty and I like how dark it is. So there you have it. Okay. The next plant is quite sexy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. I'm pulling some moss off the leaf because a little bit of moss off it, obviously off shipping. The next plant, I didn't think I would like it, but I do. I think Ben got these in. This wasn't my choice when we were ordering some plants in, but uh, I have to give it to him. It's a good choice and I really like it. The back of the leaf is beautiful, but the front's pretty popping as well. So this here is Anthurium corrugatum and it's hot. It's hot. I didn't think it was going to be hot, but it's hot. And the one thing, I think the thing that put me off about anything like this, to be honest, is because usually for me personally, corrugated Anthuriums ship like shit. Like they don't survive very well. They die back to stumps very quickly, generally speaking. This one hasn't. That's not to say it won't. This is quite new in this one, but it's stable so far. I don't even think we got many in. I think there might literally a couple in just to test them because I tend to do that. If I'm ordering a plant that I haven't had before, I won't go all out unless I know something more about the plant. Like for example, if I'm ordering a new Syngonium in, I'm okay to order 50 of them. Um, if it's something like this that I'm very dubious of, I won't. I'll get maybe two to four and I'll see how they do. And if they die on me, I won't order more and I'll just not sell that plant. But this one's done okay. So fingers crossed for this one. Um, but this is what it looks like. If I hold it up, look at that. Oh my God, that looks really nice on camera. I also love these, this handlebar kind of vibe up here. It's absolutely amazing. That looks way nicer than what I thought it was going to do on camera. That is absolutely beautiful. So that's the front. I'll come in a little bit closer as long as the camera can handle it like that. And then I will turn it round so you can see how beautiful it is on the back. Hopefully you can. Sorry, I've got a monitor beneath me that I'm trying to look into. There we go. There. Look at that. Oh my God. It's really um, prominent on the back. Very lumpy and bumpy. That's a really pretty plant. 
I quite like this plant. I didn't think I was going to, honestly. It's a while off growing any new foliage, so this is probably going to be with me for some time. But it's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. I'm, I'm a fan of this. This, oh, when I mentioned at the start, this one is actually not for me. This is, I think I mentioned at the start, if I didn't, I'm mentioning it now. Not all of these plants are for me. This was definitely one of the ones that wasn't for me. But I do like it and I want to show you it because these are clearly underrated because I don't really see people talk about them. But I quite like it. It's different from a lot of other anthurium. So for me, it gets a thumbs up. I'll let you know if it dies <laughs> or if it's just generally shit. But I have high hopes because it feels really tough. It's very leathery. It's, it's weird. It's like suede but leathery at the same time. It's very, very strong leaf. Could be why it survived. Who knows? But I'm going to pop that back down. Right, two plants left. And I love these plants. I really love these plants. These are, yes, these are for me. I love them so much. So I'm going to just pick one. I'm going to pick the one I may prefer. I feel like I prefer this one. I'm going to pick it up. And I've had to stop and start filming because my memory card got full. So I'm going to have to rewind and haul some stuff again because I was filming this and I didn't realize my card had basically filled up. So we're going to do a little second run of some of these. Hopefully, hopefully I haven't missed anything out and I realized in time. So I have never had this philodendron in the shop before. I've never owned it before. I've never seen it before. I knew of it, don't get me wrong, I knew it existed, but I'd never seen one in real life before. So I'm really happy to have some of these in, and it's kind of my new favorite thing. It's one of those things where you see, it, it's, I mean, I've said this time and time again, you see a picture online, you think, yeah, okay. And then you see them in real life and you're like, oh, damn. Like, yeah, I want that. You know what I mean? So the next plant I have to show you is, Philodendron, Mexicanum, and oh my god, this one looks really quite sexy. Honestly, it looks really quite sexy. This is my favorite one. Uh, it's mine. No one can have it. I love it. It's my new favorite thing. It might have to live in here until I get pots from there or I work out what I'm doing. I might actually have to wait until I take some of the rehab plants out of there so I have some space. But this one, I'm going to put a tag in it when I'm done filming. This one is mine. I love this one. So if you don't know anything about Mexicanum, you get this beautiful red blush. Hopefully it is showing you. I will come up to the camera. You get this beautiful red blush on the back of the leaf. And it has a really sagittate, shall we say, appearance. So it's really arrow shaped. You get these lovely pointy lobes and a really nice long leaf blade like so. Not as good as the next one I'm going to show you, but it is up there. I just love this plant. It is a climber right there, not a crawler. Hopefully you can see it. Again, I know it's focusing on my face, but hopefully you should be able to still see that. It's just such a pretty plant. Um, I do have a few of these. Where are they? Uh, give me one minute. Is that them there? Yeah, uh, at least 10 that I can see up there. There might be another tray. Oh shit, there is another tray. Okay, I've got at least 10 of them. I don't know if I want to keep them and propagate them and then grow them or you know, let these grow a little bit, get a new leaf out and then have them sold in this size. I don't know. Personally, I think this is quite a nice size. I think they're all a similar size. So I may prop some of them and sell some of them with this size. I may keep them back. I don't know, but I'm really obsessed with this. And I just think it's such a pretty plant. I mean, look at that. Look at it. It's beautiful. Look at that. Really, really nice the way this one in particular sits. And I can just imagine it in a really pretty pot just like crawling off a shelf, oh, honestly. Um, I can't wait to pot this one. It's so pretty. I love it. Please excuse the watermarks on the plant, by the way. Um, it does need a bit of a clean, but you know how it is on the channel. I don't like to overly prepare my plants. I just like to show you them as they are because I'm very big on not, not just making things just look better than they really are. Do you know what I mean? You know, plants get warm, or kind of plants get dusty. You clean it off, it's fine. But today I haven't. I just love this plant. It just looks great. It's sitting very much how my UPI, I don't know if you can see my UPI back here. It's sitting very reminiscent of that. And I think that's why I like it so much because this UPI has got a beautiful spread on. Look at this, look at the size of this. Hope you can see it. But there, putting the leaf next to me, it's huge. I'm really, really quite proud of this. It's beautiful, big boy. Look at this, look at that. Seriously, look at that. I know this haul is not about my UPI right now, but seriously, I think I forgot to address it in my last report with me. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Beautiful plant. But I think because of the way this sits, it is giving me vibes of that. And I love the way that that is growing right now. It's really good. The internodal spacing 
on that is really tight. I don't know if that's the case for all UPI. I'd have to check my other ones because a lot of my other ones are actually a lot younger. Um, but that one specifically, I can't pick it up and show you because I risk toppling it over. Um, the space between the nodes on that is absolutely tiny, whereas on here it's much larger. So this one's going to be ganglier than that one. But oh, a little bit. But this gives me vibes of that by the way that it kind of sits. It's beautiful. So that there is Philodendron Mexicanum. They seem really easy. I can't tell you anything else. I just know that they seem really easy right now. Very stable uh, with shipping. I'm looking at them up there and there's a couple that have turned a little bit, but generally they seem okay. They seem okay. Not tough. I don't like to say that they're tough without really testing to see if something's tough, but they seem okay. My first impression is that they're okay. Where's the other one? Oh, it's down here. So the next one, I'm, I'm, something about this plant I find so funky. And I do think it is more of an acquired taste than the previous one, the Mexicanum. This is not something that I think everyone's going to dig. I just don't. I should, I'll just show you it, shall I? It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, this one. I don't know how many people know about this. I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a rare plant index. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this here, it's stuck on my bracelet. This here is Philodendron Holtonianum. Holtonianum, Holtonianum. You know I butcher my names, literally, you know. We'll get over it. But this is cool because it's it's not Sagittae, it's not arrow shape, but it's it's got some length. Like this is a long boy, right? If you want a long boy, this this is your boy. This is the boy, the only boy that you need right now. If you wanted to add more long boy to your long boys, get this long boy. Look at this. Look at this. Seriously. Yes, it's weird. I, I know it's weird. We'll do a head test because I tell you what, I don't I think it's been a long time since I've done one right there. Look at that. It's long. You know what I'm saying? It's long, long boy. So <laughs> there is the, the, the lobes, I should say, the ears on the plant do change a little bit. They start quite short like this one here. So if I put my hand up in front of it so you can see what I am talking about there. And when it gets more mature, because this is one of the later leaves, the lobes get a bit bigger. This one's actually snapped a little bit. But if I show you there, it looks kind of like a tripartitum, kind of not. But look, because if I do a head test with this part of the long boy, you will see that it's actually a little bit ridiculous. It's very long. This is, I'm, I mean, I'm joking here, obviously. This is an acquired taste. I don't think everyone's going to love these. Um, they grow a bit, ooh, like they're a bit all over the place. <laughs> a little bit Halloween-y looking. Um, so... Maybe for you, maybe not for you, but that's that's why I like doing these hauls. I like to make sure I show things that are a little bit left field sometimes because I feel like we always see the same stuff on Instagram. We always see all the heart-shaped leaves or, you know, all the glory awesomes, all the, um, you know, things like pink princesses, white knights, all of the, I don't want to call them generic, but for argument's sake, I'm calling them generic. You don't really see the oddballs as much. And I like the oddballs. I think they're different. I think the variety is the spice of life. So this one I'm loving, but I totally get it. If half of you are watching this right now going, what on earth is that? Make it stop. I totally, I totally get what you're saying. It's the same thing as the, um, the UPI behind me. Not everyone loves that. And I get it. It's weird. It is. It's a really weird plant. Um, but this one is cool. I think this one is possibly easier to love than that. I guess it just depends, doesn't it really? It depends on what you like. And that is the beauty of it. So yeah, really good climber. It, it looks like it's going to be a quick one. I haven't had it long enough to grow, you know, several leaves on it. So we will see. But I wanted to point it out because I don't feel like people really know much about it. People don't talk about it. I don't see it in collections. It's just one of these weird gangly ones. So I'll show you it up close like that. There's a little leaf there. Uh, let's get the long, the long, long boy out here up close as well. Again, it's got a little bit of an issue here on this lobe. It's snapped. Um, so that can't unfortunately get any better than what it is. But it's really cool. Look at it. It's just so weird. Really, really weird plant. I'll stand back with it so you get the full sense of how it grows because it is weird. I can't lie. It's kind of odd. There you go. So I guess you might need a bit of space. But, I, I mean, I think I've got to put one on the wall because this is just too cool to not put on the wall. I like it. I just I just think, I'm going to be honest, I think not everyone will. But I think the people that do like it are going to love it. It is literally like Marmite, this one. I think it's great, and I liked it the second I saw it. Like, I didn't warm to it like a lot of people might. I loved it the second I saw it, but I like weird shit, really, so, you know. 
That's how it is. I'll pop him down because I think that is it for this video. I think at some point in the future, I'm going to do uh, a few more rare plant indexes on plants I've already done rare plant indexes on. So for example, I have two philodendron uh, rare plant indexes up. I will probably do another one at some point. I would love to do another anthurium one. I think that really needs covered because I, I probably only scratched the surface there and there are a lot of things in there. I think I got all the classics in there, like all the major ones, but I'd love to have another stab at that at some point. Before you ask me, I know you've probably already written it in the comment section. You're about to hit enter on it, but I have pretty much prepared the Syngorium Red Plant Index, and I think the next video you see after, not after this one, the one after that should maybe be the Red Plant Index. I haven't recorded it yet, but I've, I've prepped it. I've kept that smaller. I'll mention it in that video. I've kept that smaller, and I'd, I'd rather not delay it any longer. I'd rather keep less plants in it, and then maybe do a second one of that as well. So that's the plan on that. You'll get that soon. But thank you for joining me on my haul. Yes, it's weird. Yes, I am in a little weird aisle of my shop. A lot's happening. I have a lot of random stuff to show you, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you saw at least one thing uh, here today that was new or interesting. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like down below because it lets me know I'm doing a good job and you like the content I make. If you'd really like to, and you're not already part of my family, then please hit that subscribe button because I do upload at literally the same time every Friday. It's weird how on time I seem to be with my uploads. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. And if I am correct, I hate saying it without releasing something, but if I'm correct, there is a really good video coming next week. It's cool and I've spent weeks making it so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much guys. See you in the next one.